Hello friends, welcome to Animation in Unity video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood Animation in Unity is about giving life or adding behavior or behaviors to a game object. To add behavior or behaviors to a game object, we take help of three windows in Unity. They are Animation window, Animator window and animator parameter or parameters window. I told you that animation window is used to create animation clips. An animation clip is an asset which stores a specific behavior or a specific animation of the game object. In the previous video tutorial, we understood how to create animation clips. And I told you that initially when you create the first animation clip, it is going to create two files. First one is the animator controller and second one is the animation clip. In the animation clip, we define the animation of a game object. I also told you that the animator controller, animator controller is also an asset, right? In the animator controller, we define the initial animation state of the game object. We define from which animation state to which animation state the transition can happen. And we can view and edit the animator controller in the animator window. Animator window is used to view and edit the animator controller. Animator controller is used to create the animation state machine. What is animation state machine? Animation state machine defines the animation state transitions. That is from which animation state to which animation state the transition can happen. That is from which animation to which animation the transition can happen. In this video tutorial, we are going to understand how to create animation state machine for a game object. So let's get started. Here I'm in Unity. Let's create a cube. I say game object, 3D object, cube. You can see that the cube is created. I'm going to animate this cube. Okay. First, I'm going to say position animation. So for that, I go to window. I say animation and I say animation. So in the animation window, we create animation clips, right guys? I click on the create button and then I right click here and say new folder. I say animations I open the animations folder and here I give the animation name as position animation and then I click on the save button for the first time when you create the uh, animation clip I told you that it is going to create two files first one is the animator controller you see it's an animator controller and the second one is the animation clip let me select the cube and I click on the add property, say transform and say position because I want to perform position animation. Okay. At zero seconds, the position X zero, Y zero, Z zero. After one second, I want the position should change. I say X here 10. If I click on the play button, it goes from zero to 10. You can see that it is moving here. The position animation is getting played. And if you see after reaching to the x value 10 it suddenly becomes zero guys the x value becomes zero i don't want that so i hold down the control and roll the mouse wheel down until i see two seconds exactly at two seconds i'm going to create one more keyframe and set the x value back to zero so now if i click on the play button the x value changes from zero to 10 and 10 to zero so that's a nice animation you can see that the position animation I created okay that's good let's create one more animation here I'm going to create the rotation animation also so I selected the cube same I go here to drop down and say create new clip and I say the animation name as R-O-T-A-T-I-O-N rotation animation and then I click on the save button I say add property transform rotation that's good at zero seconds zero 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 after one second i want to rotate this by 360 degrees around y axis so i say 360 degrees if i click on the play button you see it goes to zero to 360 right 
I want it should go back from 360 to 0 again. So for that what we do? Hold down the control, roll the mouse wheel down. Exactly after 2 seconds, add keyframe, set it, the Y value back to 0. If I click on the play button, 0 to 360, 360 to 0. 0 to 360, 360 to 0. That's good. Now we have defined two animations on the cube. Let me close this window. Right? Let's see which animation is played initially. Whether the position animation is played first or the rotation animation is played. If I click on the play button, you see it is going to play the position animation. You see, it's playing the position animation. Why not the rotation animation? Because if I go to the cube, this is our cube animator controller. We can open it in the animator window. I go to window menu. I say animation and then I say animator. So you can see that in the cube animator controller, the entry animation state is position animation defined. You can see that by default. That's the reason it is playing the position animation. If I click on the play button, you see that the position animation is getting played. Right? Let me select the cube and play again. It's the same thing. It plays the position animation. Only thing is you can see this preview. It's telling that the position animation is getting played here. That's good. What if I need to define the rotation animation as the initial animation state? How do we do fine? All we need is just right click on that animation state and say set as layer default state. If I click on this, now the entry animation state or the initial animation state is rotation animation. If I click on the play button, now the rotation animation is played instead of the position animation. You can see that the rotation animation is getting played instead of the position animation. If I right click on position animation state and say set as layer default star, next what now what happens guys? Of course the position animation is played. If I click on the play button, it plays the position animation. So in the animator controller, we can define the entry animation state of the game object or the initial animation of the game object. We can also define from which animation state to which animation state the transition can happen. From which animation to which animation the animation transition can happen guys. How do we do the transition of animations here? Okay, what I want now is after playing the position animation, it should play the rotation animation. So for that, I right click on the position animation state. I say make transition. We get this transition line. Click on the rotation animation state. Now what happens? First it plays the position animation and then it goes to rotation animation and plays the rotation animation continuously. If I click on the play button, you see first the position animation is played and then it keeps on playing the rotation animation, right? So that is how you define the transition from one animation state to another animation state, guys. Hope you're understanding. Okay, now what is happening? You see, it is playing the position animation and then it is playing the rotation animation continuously, right? Now what I want, I want it should play the position animation again. So if I click on the rotation animation state, say make transition and click on the position animation and if I click on the play button now what happens it plays the position animation first and then plays the rotation animation again goes back and plays the position animation and then rotation animation so this is in the infinite loop right so these transition lines indicate from which animation state to which animation state the transition can happen that's good now what I do I delete this transition line I delete this transition line, I delete this position animation, I delete the rotation animation state also. You can see that there are no animation states. If I click on the play button, nothing happens, you see. If I click on the play button, nothing happens, you see. It's not playing any animation. Why? Because we have not defined the initial animation state. So if I just drag the position animation clip here, it automatically makes this position animation state as the initial animation state or an entry animation state. If I click on the play button, now it plays the position animation. I stop it, right? You can add the animation clips guys to your uh, animator controller. If I want to add the rotation animation, I just need to drag and drop the rotation animation clip here.
good if i right click here say make transition go to rotation of course now it plays the position animation and then it plays the rotation animation i hope you guys are clearly understanding how you can define the initial animation state and how you can make a transition from one animation state to another animation state let's add one more animation clip on this cube okay i select the cube let's go to scene go to window menu go to animation go to animation in the animation window we create the animation clip okay so i go to animations drop down here i say create new clip i say here scale animation and then i click on the save button i say add property transform and say scale you can see initially at 0 seconds the scale x y z set to 1 1 1 after 1 second i want the scale should change to 2 2 2 i hold down the control key and roll the mouse wheel down after 2 seconds i add keyframe and here i set the value 1 1 1 if i click on the play button you see the size is changing here so we added one more animation clip on the cube guys so remember in the animation window we create animation clips good and we are going to create the state machine in the animator window so if i select the cube go to window menu animation and say animator so we are in the animator window and here at present the position animation is getting played and then the rotation after rotation i want the scale animation should be played so simply i put it here right click make transition click if i click on the play button now the position animation is played then rotation and then the scale rotation and scale it keeps on playing the scale animation okay after playing the scale animation i want it to play the position animation so what i have to do i have to make a transition from scale to position so what i do here i move the rotation animation down and i right click on scale animation state make transition and click on position animation if i click on the play button now this goes in a loop guys position rotation and then scale right so that is how we create animation state machine for a game object i hope you guys have clearly understood so in this video tutorial we understood how to create animation clips and uh, how to open the animator window we understood how to set the default layer state or the initial animation state of the game object and we understood how do we make transition from one animation state to another animation uh, i suggest you people to try this yourself experiment more if you try it yourself you get more clear idea guys In the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about animations in uh, Unity. If you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.